Hi, I'm Ray Cardillo, AKA Longtooth Gamer, and I'm gonna show you how to create custom texture nodons in Game Builder Garage using an Arduino or Cduino-like device, just like this little guy right here. But this video goes along with a GitHub repo, so check the description for all the links. So first of all, I wanna mention that this work came out of the Video Dojo community. My specific contribution was to get it working on a tiny USB device such as the Ciduino Zhao. You'll find more information about this in the project readme files. Speaking of which, this first link will bring you to the GitHub repo that contains a source code, as well as some documentation that I tried to create to capture the background and some things I've tried and the way things work. There are basically three steps. First, you're gonna convert the image into pixel data. Then you're gonna take that pixel data and put it into the program. Then you're gonna compile and upload that program onto the device and finally run it on your device. But if you wanna get started with the Ciduino Zhao, you're gonna to wanna to come in here and read this readme that contains everything you need to know to get started, such as how to get your environment set up with the setup and build, and then how to convert image data and how to upload the program to the board, and finally, how to run it on the device. So now coming back to the GitHub page, this is an overview of all the high level information you need. You can read a little bit about the project, download the zip file easily, and access a hosted version of the image extraction utilities. I didn't write these image extraction utilities, but I did get permission to host them here for convenience. Converting your image into pixel data is gonna be the first step of this process. So I'm gonna open up this utility into another tab, and now I'm gonna to switch to it and choose a file, open up an image that I use for test data, and there it is. So as you can see, there's several different image creation options here. You can play around with these as you need or see fit, and you can play around with tiling as well where it'll create multiple images. We generate, and that produces the data that we need, the pixel data. And now all we have to do is click this download CSV file. And when you click on that, that'll initiate the download of a CSV file that contains all the data you need to copy and paste into the program. So once that downloads, we can dismiss this. And if you're on a Mac, a nice tip is to use the PB copy command to copy the CSV data directly into your pasteboard, and then you can paste it easily which I'm demonstrating with the PB paste command. And man, that's a lot of numbers. Now we wanna paste those numbers into the image data section of the program. I'm gonna delete the example data and then paste this data and be careful with the brackets. Now I'm gonna plug in the board. And if you look up here, you can see that it's attached to the USB device. And if we use the get board info, it's a good way to see that your board is attached properly. So now we want to upload the program to the board. This button will compile first, and then it'll perform the upload. And you'll see the CPU reset and the upload complete. At that point, you can unplug it and it's ready to be used. I've created about 30 textures in one session with no problem, but I'm just going to demonstrate one for now. So here's the device we just programmed. You can put it on a breadboard if you want. You can attach a switch if you want. I programmed it to start when it gets a signal on pin 2. So it needs 3.3 volts on pin 2. So let's open up Game Builder Garage. And then we'll get into the programming screen. Just going to start a new project. All right. And now we're going to plug the device into the USB-C port. And now I'm going to jump the 3.3 volt output to pin 2. This is just a low tech way of doing it. And we're off and running. Let me speed this up. So there you go. And now when you see the blinking, you know that it's all done and you can unplug it. So thanks again to the Video Dojo community. Look in the description for all the links. Leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe if you want to see some of the mini games I have planned.
Jesus.